I am honored to be with you today and your commandment from one of the fin finest universities in the world. I never gratitude from college. Truth be told, this is, this is the closest I've ever gotten to a college graduation. Today, I want to tell you three stories from my life. That is no big deal. Just three stories. The first three is about connecting the dots. I dropped out of late class after the first six months. But then they are run as a drop in for another six, eighteen months or so before I really quit. So why did I drop out? Uh, uh, it started it started before I was born. My biological mother was a young away college graduate student and she decided to put me up for adoption. She felt, felt very strongly that I should be adopted by college graduates. So everything was all set for me to be adopted at birth by a layer and his wife. Except that when I popped out, they decided at the last minute that they really want a girl. So my parents, who were on the waiting list, Got a call in the middle of the night asking, "You have, a, you have an unexpected baby boy. Do you want him?" They said, "Of course." By bio, by my bio, biological mother later found out that my mother had never graduated from college and that my father had never graduated from high school. She refused to sign to finally adoption papers. She only relented a few months later when my parents promised that I would someday go to college. And 17 years later I did go to college, but I inevitably chose a college that was almost as expensive as Stanford. And all of my working class parents' savings were being spent on my college tuition. After six months, I couldn't see the value in it. I had no idea uh, what I wanted to do with my life and no idea how college was going to help me figure it out. And here I was spending all of the money my parents had saved their entire life. So I decided to drop out and trust that it would work out okay. It was pretty scary at the time, but looking back, it was one of the best decisions I ever made. The minute I dropped out, I couldn't stop drinking the required crazy that didn't interest me and began dropping in on the ones that are looking interesting. It wasn't, it wasn't a uh, romantic. I didn't have a dorm, dorm room, so I slept on the floor in friend room. I returned cook, but for the five dollar deposit to buy food with, and I would work, and I work would work the seven mile across town every Sunday night to get a good meal a week at the. Harry Carey's temple. I love it. A mud of was stumbling, stumbled into by following my my curious, curiosity, curiosity and intuition turned out to be price, priceless later on. Let me give you an, an example. Recurly college at the time offered perhaps the best be, best curling rep intru, intrusion in the count, countries. Throughout the campus by poster, every label on every drawer was beauty beautiful hand curl rep. Because I had dropped out and didn't have to take the normal class, I decided to take a 
create graphic class to run hard to do this. I run about serif and send serif type typeface about bearing the amount of space between different the combination about one make great type type graphic grid. It was beautiful historical artistically sub artist artistically artistically subtle in a way that science can capture and I found it fascinating. None of these had uh, even a hope of hope of any practical application in my life. But ten years later, when we were designing the first Mac, Macintosh computer, it came, came back to me. And we designed it into the Mac. It was the first computer with beautiful typography. If I had never dropped in on the single cur curve in college, the Mac would have never had multiple, multiple typeface or proportionally spaced fonts. Inside window just copied and Mac, it likely that no personal computer would have them. If I never drop out, I would have never dropped in on this choreography class and personal computer might not have the wonderful type graph that they do. Of course, it was impossible to connect the dot looking forward when I was in college, but it was very, very clear looking backward 10 years later. Again, you can't connect the dot looking forward, you can only connect them looking backward. So you and you have the truth that the that way somehow connect in your future. You have to trust in something, your God, destiny, life, karma, whatever. This approach I never let me down, and it has made all the difference in my life. My second story is about love and loss. I was lucky. I found what I love to do early in life. Wood and I started applying my parents' garage when I was 20. We worked hard, and in 10 years, I had grown from just the two of us in gar garage into a two dollar billion company with over 4,000 employees. We had to release our finest collection, the maxing toes a year early, and I had just uh, turned third. third. And then uh, I got fired. How can you can? How can you get fired from a company you started? Where at Apple Group, we hired someone who I thought was very talented to run the company with me and and for the first year or so thing when went well but in our vision of the future began to divert and eventually we had a failing out when we did our board of directors side with him so I third I was out and very publicly out what had been the focus of my entire other life was gone, and it was the best date. I literally didn't, I literally didn't know what to do for a few moments. I felt that, felt that I had left at the preview generation of enter, entrepreneurs down, that I had dropped the button as it was being passed to me. I met with David, David Packard and Pop Noisy, Noisy and tried to apologize for screwing, screwing, screwing out so badly. I was a very public failure and I would even thought about running away from the ballet. But something slow began, 
began to doubt on me. I still up what I did. The turn up event and and change that on me. I I had been rejected, but I was still in love, and so I decided to start over. I didn't see in that. But it turned out that getting fire from Apple was the best thing that could have ever happened to me. The happiness of being successful was replaced by the rightness of being a beginner again. Less sure about everything. Less sure about everything. It freed me to enter one of the, one of the most creative periods of my life. During the next five years, I started a company named Next, another company named Fisia, and fell in love with an amazing man who would become my wife. Fisia went on on created the world's first computer animated feature film, Toy Story, and is now the most successful animation to do in the world. In a remarkable turn of events, but next, I returned to Apple and the technology we developed and next is at the earth of Apple's current renaissance. And Rorin and I have wonderful family together. I'm pretty sure none of this would have happened if I hadn't been fired from Apple. It was a for testing in medicine, but I guess the patient needed it, needed it, needed Sometimes I hit you in the head with a brick down the road's face. I'm convinced that the only thing that kept me going was that I loved what I did. You got find what you love and that is a true for true, true for your work as it is for your love your work is going to feel a rugged a part of your life and the only way to be true truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work and the and the only way to the great world is to serve what you do. If you have find a cab, keep working, don't sell every as weight or matter of the her you know when you find it and like any great relationship it just get better and better as the years rule will. So keep looking until you find the don't set. The third story is about that. When I was 17, I read quote quote that want something like if you if you read it they as it it was your life, someday your most to certain be light. It made it made an impression on me, and seeing them for the past past thirty 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 three years, I have looked in the mirror every morning and asked myself, "If today were the last day of my life, would would I want to do what I'm what I'm about to do today?" And whenever the answer has been no, for for First, too many days in a row. I know I need to change something. Remembering that I will be dead soon is the is the most important truth uh, uh, I have ever encountered to help me make the big choice in life because almost everything our eternal inspection, our pride. Our fear of embarrassment of affairs, the thing just f- fell away in the face of death, leaving only what is truly important. 
remembering that remembering 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 that you're going to die is the best what best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You are already there. There is no reason now to follow your hurt. About a year ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. I had a scan at 7.30 in the morning, 13, 13 in the morning, and it clearly showed a tumor on my pancreas. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even know what a pancreas was. The doctor told me, told me this was a most certain, certainly a type of cancer that is in Curable. And then uh, I should expect to live no longer than three to six months. My doctor advised uh, my doctor advised me to go home and get my affair in order, which the doctor called for prepared to die. As mean to try to your kid everything you thought you have the next ten years to tell them in just a few moments months. It means to measure everything in burden, burdened up so that it, it will be as it as possible for your family. It means to say you goodbye. I leave with the diagnosed or day later the evening I have biopsy where they struck stuck and in those scope that my throat throw a throat my stump and uh, stump stomach and into my intestines, put a needle into my pancreas and got a few cells from the tumor. I was sad that but my la but my wife who was there told me that when they viewed the cell under a mic microscope microscope the doctor starts crying because it turned out to be very rare a form of pancreatic cancer that it is curable with surgery. I had to surgery and I'm fine now. This, this was the closest that I've been to facing death, and I hope it's the closest I get for a few more decades. Having read through it, I can now say this to you with a bit more certainly than when that was a useful but purely intellectual concept. No, no one want to die. No one, no one want to die. Even people who want to get to heaven don't want to die to get there. And yet that is the destination we are sure no one has ever escaped it, escaped it, it. and that it as it should be because that is very likely the single best invention of life. It is like child of the agent. It clear out the clear out the earth to make wealth for the new. Right now, the new is new, but someday that to run from now, you will gradually become the old and be cleared away. Sorry, sorry to be so dramatic, but it is quite true. Your time is limited, so don't waste 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 it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the result of other people thinking. Don't rent the noise of other opinion drawn out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is a country. When I was young, when I was young, 
There was an amazing publication called the Who, Who Earth Cathedral, which was one of the Bible of my generation. It was created by a fellow named Stewart Brand of Far far from here in Mellow Park, and he brought it right with his pretty thoughts. This was in the late 1960s. People, personal computer and desktop publishing. So 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 it was a man with typewriter, scissor and. Polora, Polaroid camera, Polaroid camera, Polaroid camera, camera. It was sort of like Google in park back from 35 year people Google came along. It was in idealistic, ide- idealistic and overfly with neat tools and great notion. Steward and his team put a ser- server on each of the Who Earth Cathed Cathedral and then when it had run it cause they put out put they put out a final each it was the mind nineteen seventies and I was your age on the back cup of their final issue was a photograph of an early morning country loop. The can you uh, the can you might find yourself hitchhike hitchhike on if you were so adventurous. Vanity it were the worst. Stay hungry, stay foolish. It was their farewell method at the sign of Stay hungry, stay foolish. And I have a way with that for myself. And now, as you graduate to begin anew, I wish that for you. Stay hungry, stay foolish. Thank you.